Today we're looking at the work of Piet Mondrian, a French painter who used bright primary colors in squares and rectangles mostly for modern art making. This is called geometric abstraction, and the way the colors are placed and the forms change the way the painting looks. So we're looks. looking at the work of Piet Mondrian, and I've gotten some of these shapes out. It's a shape sorter set I collected a long time ago. It was being thrown out of the kindergarten room. So I had this piece that I showed you, and to me, the lines aren't crisp enough. It's too wiggly. I used a uh, glue mixed with black paint to make my lines, and that wasn't the best way. I might use a ruler, but for one option, I'm going to use colored papers and cut those shapes. Now, I just wanted to play with these shapes on the surface of a white paper in front of you so you can see how I'm making decisions. If I lay this here, let me get this out of the way so you can see the edges of my paper. I'm just putting these shapes in different places creates a different rhythm and makes the paper or the picture that you're making look different. So if this is here, then I have almost a square shape and then here it creates a rectangle together. And it, everything is a different rhythm when you add things in different colors and different orders, different shapes. And see, I'm just placing these blocks and then imagine the black lines around them. And then maybe I could use smaller squares too. Now, if you had a set of blocks like this, I guess you could take a picture of your arrangement and that would count as far as a Mondrian study. But we're about to make one. And so this would be modern art. It is a geometric abstraction because we're using shapes and colors. And it's fairly simple. And then I have some small rectangles too, but usually he would let white spaces kind of let them play. So as I fill this up, notice it creates a whole different rhythm. And then I would line this, go around these, or draw straight lines. A ruler could come in handy if I was drawing this. Now, this is just play. It's a three-dimensional version of this. And let me try it another way. Another way is to cut squares and rectangles out of three primary colors. These three primary colors are blue, yellow, and red. Those are the primary colors. You can't mix these colors. You can't make blue out of any other colors. You have to buy blue. So I'm being careful to try to cut straight shapes. It's close enough. Maybe use the edge as the line to figure out what is straight. And there's some rectangles. So let's start with these shapes. Now I will need to draw the lines, so I'm thinking about where I'm putting these shapes and what directions. I'm not making a person, place, or thing. I'm just spacing these shapes around, rectangles and squares, that's all. You don't need a lot of shapes to do this. But I do want to include the small squares Try to make your cuts as straight as possible. Now, now that I look at these, I need to fix those, Put the, putting them back together, all overlapping, holding these together. Now, I want this to be a square, like I said. Now, I'm not going to change my mind and say, oh, I'm in a rectangle. No, I still need squares. So cutting straight. I have to refine my work. I have to look at what I did and assess it and say, is that right? Is that the way I want it? And I can't just accept, okay, well, that's sloppy, but it's okay. Not me, I have to change it. No, I kind of like this rhythm. And then I would need to draw the lines around this piece. So let's glue these down. It doesn't take a lot of glue. 
And then I believe I'll draw one really quickly because there's more than one way to make this kind of art. Hopefully you choose either crayons or papers or a way that's easy for you and what you, you have those materials. And you can play with color and shape too. That's all that this art is about, the space between things and the colors and the shapes. So I only need a little bit of glue, putting dots. Try to make sure that your shapes are nice and crisp and, and even and not wonky. You want them to be really good um, squares. Now this square is not perfect, it's close, but this is a better square than this one because one edge is not straight. So you do need to think about what you're doing and look at it just like I did in front of you. Gluing these down. See, I didn't use a lot of glue. And you might get glue finger like me. And then just do that. Get that off your fingers. Mm. Putting a little bit of space between that. Trying to make sure it's straight. Now my uh, picture is already changing because I've moved a few things. You see. So uh, a lot of these pieces, Mondrian, he had a series called Jazz. Like he was looking at the music and talking about the spacing and the timing and the, the instrumentation. And, you know, he was interpreting the music and then he was showing it in color. That was his version of how he saw jazz. What does it look like? Now, this piece I put on not straight. I need to straighten that out because that would wreck the whole piece. Now, here's another fun part. This piece is off too. I can move it. Yay, it's just in time. Put that on hurriedly. Slow down. All right, so we have this. You could use a crayon or a marker. Um, I'm using a marker in this case. Actually, I'm gonna use a thick lined marker and I'm going to use this chisel, this part. And so, hopefully you're on a, a mat that you can work on and not mess up your table. I put down a piece of uh, a poster board so that I could work here and not mess up this table. I'm only drawing the lines next to. Now this is showing me what's straight and what's not. I'm noticing my red shape, my square, was not so straight. But, you know, we're getting the idea of this. Try not to drag your hand through the wet marker because it'll smudge. And This assignment is you know, really clean and really crisp and clear. So we have to be very careful to try to get that likeness. And I think this looks better than a crayon version. I mean, I'll show you my version that I did with paint and crayon, but if you could cut these shapes and put them onto a white background, I think it looks even better. And so I'm trying to get the likeness of this. Sometimes I do a project in more than one way to figure it out. So I can show you the easiest way, I hope. I'm not trying to make anyone frustrated and make things too hard. This is a pretty easy assignment, a little tricky. Everything has got its own way of being. So that got pulled and I have to address that. And I want that to be as thick so that that's not my best line, but it works. Coming up to the top of that, you're probably seeing my head in the video because I'm staring down onto this piece. Now that line's going to be thick. Move that up, move that over and stop right there at that line. And then 
going to overlap just a bit. And then re-straighten that line. And not park my marker there for too long because it'll just bleed into the paper and make a big dot. And I don't want that. I'm not, this is not about dots. It's about crisp lines. So I'm trying to make the corners pretty sharp. Yeah. See, I, I did that without the ruler and it is tricky to get it straight. I'm not a ruler. I draw pretty organically, so it's hard to draw straight lines some days. If you practice it, you're good at it, but you don't, this is completely different than drawing a portrait or a uh, landscape or something like that, young artists. This is geometric art and it is kind of tricky. But this is the work of Piet Mondrian. I could have left that open, but this is full of decisions. You might want this to go further. A little taller, the width of the line maybe. And if I move here, then it gives this time to dry. Yeah. And that's a lot thicker than the rest, but here we go. I know if I practice this, I'd get good at it. Now, I remember when I first saw the work of Piet Mondrian, I thought, that's not art. That's not the stuff I like. That's not drawing. <clears throat> it's not realistic. It takes no skill to do that wrong. It's not easy to do. So, I can look at this this way. I can look at this this way. This kind of reminds me of the assignment I did of the floor plan of the house. Where everything's measured out. This is one room, this is one room. Uh, so there I'm finding similarities in works. Hopefully you find those connections too. That's how your brain grows. It's a good thing. All right, so there is my Mondrian and I wanted to show you this other example that I don't think is as, as successful because I didn't use a ruler. I used glue and it was a wiggly line and it's not as straight as I'd like it to be. It's close, but it's no cigar. So I would rather Stick with this one. This is my Mondrian for today. I hope you've enjoyed doing this. We're using primary colors, blue, red, yellow, squares and rectangles, large and small, and then space them around how you want. You don't have to fill the whole thing. Please leave some white spaces. Probably use a marker like these Crayola markers. If you use that chisel side, you can draw a nice wide uniform line especially with a ruler so there we go we've done some modern art today i hope you've enjoyed thank you